Hey, it's Damien with Rosie Side Farm. We're back here at the dump. Collecting that free compost that I was telling you about in our first video. So sorry for the heavy breathing. Just got done shoveling. We got one, two, three, four, five, six totes slash trash cans filled with compost slash wood chips. Um, hopefully good growing material. So we're back at the neglected garden and we'll do a little update of the pumpkins that we planted in the compost piles uh, from our last video. So the plants definitely germinated. I mean, without a doubt, they kind of came up pretty close together, even though I thought that I spread out the seeds pretty well, apparently not. And they are all, they look to be pumpkins. And I would sus suspect that they are the, um, like the miniature decorative pumpkins just because those are the ones that kind of germinated the best in our other garden, just real easy to germinate. Like I said, I put a mix in everything, so who knows? I don't know if I'm gonna thin these out or if I'm just gonna simply kind of let nature take its course and if they choke each other out, they do, it's no big deal. So we also had some other plants planted in here um, and they're, they're growing. So I'm looking over here. It looks like there's a pumpkin there. It's a couple watermelon vines. Um, so again, uh, some volunteer tomatoes right here at my feet. So we're going to continue to let these grow. Here's a watermelon vine. It's doing, doing a lot better than it was. Another watermelon vine. Squash of some sort. So the idea with this next batch of um, growing material that we got is I'm going to put them all along this little fence and put cucumbers in them. Now the problem with the cucumbers is we have a pack of cucumber seeds that says um, Southern States on it. So we bought them from Southern States. The problem is the Southern States around here closed down a couple of years ago. So not sure how viable these seeds are. I also have a package of uh, mini gourds or mixed gourds that I saved myself. So I may throw a few seeds in there just in case those cucumbers don't germinate and I'm not wasting my time. So I have all but two dumped out right along the fence line, kind of smooth it out into one long row. I saved two and I'm actually gonna use that to mulch around some of these volunteers and plants that we previously uh, planted here just to try to get this thing under control. So here's our one long line of free growing material. So the seeds, like I said before, we've used before but they're from southern states and it's been closed for a few years so we're going to give this a shot anyway and um, see how it works so as you can see no spacing at all just dumping them in and that's it, just loosely covering them up with dirt. Um, we've had some rain here, so this, this growing material is still pretty moist. Might give a little sprinkle here just to make sure that those seeds get wet and um, we'll move on from there. So there'll be another update when these seeds germinate or I give up on them germinating. We can check out the other compost piles that we have that we're trying to grow stuff in. Uh, but thanks for checking us out today. We'll see you next time.